It's overwhelming, isn't it? You're about to come in for a major surgical procedure. For some of you, you may have had this experience before, but it's still an intimidating journey. You have so many questions. We have the answers. My name is Cindy. I'm a pediatric pre-admission clinic nurse. Along with the pre-admission clinic team, the PAC team, I've taken many families through the pre-admission process. The goal of the entire PAC team is to ease the confusion and anxiety you feel. In this presentation, we will tell you about key procedures that need to be performed. We will also introduce the people you will encounter along the way. So, by the time we're done, you'll understand the roles the different nurses, technicians and doctors play in a patient's treatment and recovery. You'll know who you can reach out to for help and information when you're with us. You'll know what to expect. We're here for you every step of the way. Naturally, each family's experience will be unique to accommodate the schedules of the doctors and the prior bookings of the testing facilities. We want to make sure the PAC experience is as comfortable and as stress-free as possible for your family and the child who is being treated, whether that's an infant, a toddler, a young child, or a teenager. Most of all, we want you to know that you are not alone in this situation. This presentation is the result of our interaction with many, many parents and families who have helped us understand your concerns and address them better. Share this orientation with other members of your family and friends who will participate in the pre-admission process. Even before you started watching this presentation, you may have already connected with our team through interactions with the case coordinator. The case coordinator acts as a liaison communicating with you and your family prior to your arrival at the stallery. It is the case coordinator's responsibility to notify the family of surgery and pre-admission clinic dates, as well as answer any questions before the family comes to the hospital. The Stollery Children's Hospital is located on 84th Avenue and 112th Street in Edmonton, in the heart of the University of Alberta District south of the River Valley. It is part of the University of Alberta Hospital Complex. When you get to the hospital, look for the Big Bear. You may also visit our website for maps and direction information. This is Kaylee and her mother Charlene, perhaps a family like yours, coming for treatment at the PAC. Mom, I see it. Oh yes, there it is. It will be a good idea to get to the hospital a little earlier to allow you the time you'll need to park and get over to the pre-admission clinic. The West Public Parkade is located on 84th Avenue between 112th and 114th Streets. Hourly public parking is available in the West Public Parkade. Disabled parking is located on the third level near the Pedway. Signs will direct you through the Pedway and into the hospital. In PAC, we will talk more about parking while your child is in hospital. Weekly or monthly passes can be purchased to minimize your parking costs. It's a good thing we left early. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Is this whole thing a children's hospital? No, just the part with the bear is. The Stollery Children's Hospital is a hospital within a hospital. The Stollery entrance is at the southwest side of the University of Alberta Hospital. As you enter, you'll find a food court to the left. There's also a pharmacy and a store that offers gifts, books, toys for children, stationery, calling cards and more. The Stollery Baron side will help you find the glass elevators that will take you to the fourth floor, up to 4C2 where your pre-admission clinic process will begin.
After arriving at the reception desk on 4C2, the first person you'll meet is someone like me, a pediatric cardiology clinic nurse. As the pediatric cardiology clinic nurse, I will measure your height and weight, review the medicines that you are taking, and be sure that we do all the tests needed before your operation. I will coordinate your EKG and echocardiogram. I'm a cardiology technologist. I will do the EKG test. Basically, the EKG is a painless test which documents your heart's rate and rhythm. We place 10 electrodes on the body, which pick up the electrical activity of the heart. The information is transmitted to a paper graph. The electrodes may feel cold when they are first put on because of the gel, which is used to help pick up the heartbeat. When we remove them, there may be a slight pulling on the skin. Younger patients are often quite interested to see the graph of their heartbeat. One of the major events is a trip to the Echo Lab. Okay, Kaylee, we're ready to go. Okay, will this hurt or anything? You know what? The only thing you're going to feel that's going to hurt a little bit are the stickers maybe coming off and it's a little bit cold on the gel. What is this test for? Okay, this test is so that we can um, take pictures of her heart so that the cardiologist and surgeon can look at those images to plan the surgery appropriately. Two small electrodes are positioned on the shoulders and one on the side of the tummy. They're hooked up to little wires that record the heart rate. Then a small camera with some gel on it is held on the tummy, the chest, the side and the neck. Several pictures will be taken from each of those areas. The echo pictures show the heart muscle, the valves, the chamber sizes and the direction of the blood flow through the heart and how the heart is put together. This test can sometimes take up to 45 minutes. The patient can watch movies during that time. For younger children who cannot be still, a mild sedative, an orange flavored syrup, is sometimes administered so they are quiet and still throughout the test. After your EKG and echo tests are completed, you will take the elevator again and come down to the first floor where the pre-admission clinic is located near the stallery entrance. As you arrive, your PAC nurse, someone like me, starts notifying all the team members that you are ready to be seen. So did you find everything okay? Yes, thank you. How long will we be in PAC? Your visit could take up to five hours today. Well, then glad I bought my video games. It really will help pass the time. First, let's talk about the pre-operative and the post-operative experience. One of the things we're going to do today is take blood pressures. We're going to take one on each arm and on each leg. Then I'm going to listen to your heart, and then I'm going to listen to your lungs. You'll get a lot of information, and you may not remember it all, but that's okay. This is a settling in time for you. It's also a great time to ask questions. And remember, go ahead, ask any question. Another thing about the PAC experience is you may not see everyone in the exact order as presented in this video. But don't worry, by the time you're done, you will have seen and talked to everyone. Besides the PAC nurse, there are other nurses with special functions like a clinical nurse specialist or a nurse practitioner, someone like me. During your PAC appointment, one of us will meet your family and review your child's history in detail. We will do a physical exam and if we identify any concerns, we may do extra tests. Okay, so now I'm finished with that. I'll get you to put your feet up and lie down with your head on the pillow. If needed, we ask other specialists to see a child in preparation for the upcoming heart surgery. We will talk about the expected course in hospital and answer any questions about the operation and the recovery following surgery. <laughs> if we anticipate any special needs during the recovery, we will explain these to the family. 
We want to be sure we address all of your concerns while you are here in PAC. We encourage you to write down your questions and bring them to this appointment. Just remember, no question is too unimportant. Every question is worth asking. During pediatric cardiac surgery, the child is uh, put into a special sleep by a pediatric cardiac anesthesiologist. The role of the anesthesiologist in the care of children having heart surgery uh, begins before the surgery. We meet the children and their parents, and we learn about their needs as it pertains to their heart and their other medical needs. And it's by taking this information that we can then design an anesthetic plan that best suits each child. Some things that are common to the plan, though, are that we often give some form of uh, pre-operative sedative medication which is administered just before the child leaves the pre-admission clinic and then upon arrival in the uh, operating room we commence our anesthetic either intravenously or with an inhaled anesthetic agent. Then we are there continuously with the child right through until we turn the care of the child over to the uh, staff in the intensive care unit. Will I feel sick after? It's a possibility, but heart surgery, fortunately, is one of the operations that isn't as likely to make you feel sick, especially if you're meaning sick to your stomach. Will it hurt anything? All operations, if we didn't give special medicines, they would make you kind of sore, but we always give you, part of your anesthetic is a, is a medicine to make you comfortable, and that medicine is continued even after you're awake afterwards, so that keeps you comfortable. Questions are always welcome at any time. Sometimes during your pre-admission visit, there are things that you may have forgotten to ask that you'll think of later. I often suggest that you write these down and bring them with you when you come in on your day of surgery, and we're more than happy to take some time to answer those questions before you or your child go into the operating room. Cardiologist plays a major role in the team of doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers who will be involved in the patient's care. If you are coming from one of the other centers, you will get to know one of Edmonton's cardiologists during your hospital stay. The cardiologist works very closely with the surgeon to determine uh, the plan of the operation uh, prior to the surgery. This is where the echocardiogram plays a part in helping us assess the patient's heart. The cardiologist and the surgeon study the echocardiogram and consult prior to surgery. During the pre-admission clinic visit, the surgeon will explain the surgery to the family and answer any questions they may have. At that time, the surgeon also asks for the parent's permission to proceed with surgery. After surgery, the cardiologist will assess the patient at least once a day, working closely with all members of the team, including the heart surgeon, to ensure the best possible care. As soon as the patient is stable and well on the way to recovery, then the cardiologist will let you go home. Following discharge from the hospital, you will be returning to your original cardiologist for continuing care and follow-up. As a case coordinator, I will meet you in the pre-admission clinic and take you on a tour of the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, or PICU. The tour will help your family get a better understanding of what to expect after the transfer from the operating room to PICU. After your surgery, you will meet other hospital staff, such as physiotherapy, who will help you in your recovery from surgery. I will see you again when your child is transferred from the PICU to the cardiology unit, Unit 4C3, and be available to answer your questions or help you at any time. For children and families, the hospital experience can be a challenge. That's why we have child life specialists to help you cope. We will help you cope with your healthcare experience as it relates to you. Different people have different needs based on age, previous healthcare experiences, procedures, and coping abilities. Child life specialists are trained to meet the emotional and developmental needs of patients and their families through a variety of services. A child life specialist teaches patients about his or her illness, treatment, and surgery. 
Our role is to prepare them psychologically and offer support through medical procedures. By helping children and families learn, play and interact with others, the Child Life Specialist can help them cope through the process. In PAC, social workers help families deal with the very beginning process of hospitalization. We complete a psychosocial assessment to help pinpoint a family's areas of needs and strengths. Main concern for families are parking, transportation, meal arrangements, the financial impact of hospitalization, child care, and leave of absences from work. Social workers help families deal with these immediate concerns. The hospital is not able to provide these services directly to you, but we will help you secure funding wherever possible. In this way, caregivers can focus their energy on their child's recovery rather than on issues that can be taken care of prior to surgery. As a member of a multidisciplinary team, we would make referrals to other team members as needed, such as child life specialists and psychologists. While in the hospital, social workers will be available to you in PAC, the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, as well as the Pediatric Cardiology Unit. Well, that's pretty much it for your pre-admission clinic visit. From the moment you arrive, our team of healthcare professionals will do their best to make you feel as comfortable as possible. There are, however, times when the doctor is with another patient or testing facilities are engaged and you may be asked to wait until they are available. Some of the procedures take time and you may have to wait for the results to come in. To help you deal with this waiting time and also be more prepared to handle uncertainties, here are a few suggestions to lessen the stress and boredom of waiting. Many of these suggestions have come from other families. We suggest you bring music, books or games with you to help to pass the time. If you have an infant, please bring your baby's formula or milk so that we can refrigerate it for you. Snacks for your family are truly a lifesaver, especially if your appointment is prolonged. And of course you can access the hospital's food court. Anytime you have a question, you may go to the PAC reception desk, ask to speak to one of the PAC nurses, the social worker, or the case coordinator. Most of the services you need are close at hand, like ATMs, the pharmacy, the food court, and a gift store. Remember, sharing your experience with other families throughout your hospital stay can help you cope. The PAC experience is about providing the best possible care for your family during this important event in your life. Your case coordinator, child life specialist, social worker, the nurses, the technologist, the anesthesiologist, the cardiologist, and the surgeon. Each one of us plays a dedicated part in treating the children who come to us. And remember, you can help us help you more by asking questions, getting information, and being as prepared as you can be. And remember, we will be here for you every step of the way.